We're here for the final video, and uh, as you can tell, I can hardly stop smiling because the house is finally done. And we're gonna do one last walkthrough of the house so that you can see what it looks like now that it is a fully furnished vacation rental. When we uh, first got this house, we had this wall that kind of separated the kitchen and the formal dining room, and we opened that completely up. This is now a giant great room. Uh, and I love it. These are the original hardwood floors that we refinished. They're yellow oak, and we match the oak hardwood floors into the kitchen so that it's all, all one flooring throughout the entire main level. I want to show you these fabulous countertops, the custom design that it has on it. It's really beautiful. That's probably my favorite part of the kitchen is the countertops. Then take a look over here. We have all uh, Cafe GE appliances. One of the most highly rated, also uh, very competitive in regard to price. And then the gas, um, the gas cooktop, the gas stove. It's a convectional gas stove, which is fabulous. This is a kind of a cool little microwave kid friendly and then this lovely sink it's a cast iron custom made apron front sink and it was a bear like I said to get it in but it's here and it's beautiful and um, I love it so the lovely patio oh that view so we didn't do anything out here structurally, so we painted it, made it look lovely. Yeah, even on a kind of a cooler night like this, it's a great place to hang out. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a Dutch door. Isn't this gonna be great when somebody is living here and they want to get the breeze through? So one of the things that makes this space feel really big and open is obviously having the wall gone, but also having the canned lighting. And I've learned that the more light there is in a room, the more it feels open and welcoming. So the bathroom. These are all solid wood cabinets that I purchased from Grey Lumber. So we have the handheld so that if you have children, it'll be easy to shower them off or for you yourself if you want to separately wash your hair, your body. Also, this is the same finish as the kitchen faucet. So all of those finishings are the exact same. Getting these wall mounts the appropriate size are right on the location that they need to be caused quite a bit of um, delay and riffraff, but we finally got it right and they look amazing, so. Happy, happy, happy. And this is the lovely nest. You have heating, you have AC. And I also will mention that all of the lights are on a smart system. There is an app, and if you are here for an extended stay and you would really like to have evening lighting or something like that, you can program all of the lights so that they are dimmed during a certain hour and brighter during others, which is really great. Okay, now to the first bedroom. These bedrooms are such a great size. So all of the beds are queen size, comfortable for couples. All the furniture in the house is here to stay because it's a fully furnished rental. So people who stay here don't have to bring a bed. This bed is here to stay for you, to make your stay comfortable. One of the things that I love the most about this is that you have the blackout blinds. And you stay out on the ab until Five o'clock in the morning. Pretty sure everything shuts down at two. Bedroom number two. Da, 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 da. So this is kind of a master suite just because you do have that second closet. And during the renovation, nothing crazy happened with the bedrooms, right? Like it was paint, it was flooring, it was obviously all electrical and things like that. Before we go downstairs, voila. How beautiful is that? All the towels. You stay here and you forget your toothbrush. And now we're going downstairs. Here we are in the separate uh, mother-in-law suite. Down here we have one bed, one bath, and an entirely separate kitchen. These um, cabinets are the original cabinets to the home. Again, we didn't replace them. My favorite thing about this kitchen is this cute little stove. So 
so many contractors that I had in here envied, uh, really loved this uh, stove because you just don't find them this small. They often, you know, fit in RVs and things like that. So this is kind of cool to have and hopefully it sticks around for a little while longer. You can see the same type of hardware that we have, same exact as upstairs. So it's really a, a identical kitchen, but it's the original cabinets that we used and we refreshed them and put on new hardware. So this is the downstairs bathroom. It is actually quite a bit bigger. We have more space in the upstairs, but again, the finishings are the exact same. Subway tile, and you can see that we installed some custom cabinetry here. Better use of space. This is where you can put your towels. Definitely hang some of your clothes. Okay, so here is the living space. It's much less echoey now that we have some furniture in here. Uh, the flooring is white, <laughs> which I'm still kind of second guessing. I love the freshness, but it's definitely gonna be maybe uh, interesting to keep it clean. But this is a vinyl tile, which is waterproof and it's comfortable to walk on. It's not too hard. Again, it was very cost effective to install. And a separate door that matches the front door that goes to the side yard. So that's, that's, that's it guys. I'm just, I'm just ready to rent this thing out. I need to stop spending money on it. But there you have it. I love it. It's a little piece of heaven and Old Town Tacoma. Uh, my intention in creating this video series was was really for future homeowners, current homeowners, and people maybe looking to make their next real estate investment to see firsthand kind of what, what it looks like to remodel an older home. As I stand here in this gorgeous house and look at you know all the furniture and kind of the lifestyle that hopefully somebody would be able to enjoy as they you know pay to have it as their vacation rental it's really exciting again it, it's very worth it and i hope that i've inspired a lot of you to do the same thing and uh, invest in build your portfolio because it's a really smart life decision i think make the commitment and you can do it and i hope you've learned a lot so thank you Mwah.